Hello everyone! You probably have what are called three-way switches in your house, and how this works is you're able to push one switch to turn on a light, and then flip another switch to turn off that same light, and you can flip them on and off as many times as you want, and the lights will still go on and off no matter which switch that you use. This is based on a setup in my house as well, except we have a third switch here, which can also turn them off and on. Now this is not that hard to make in Minecraft. Over here I've got a... Uh, an example set up here. Basically, each switch is able to turn on some redstone and turn off some redstone. So, right now, we've got just basic AND gates here, and both redstone strings need to be off for this redstone torch to turn on, which will turn on this piston. So, but if we flip this switch, now we've got both strings off, which eliminates the redstone, which turns on the switch. So, and we've got another little AND gate here, which does the same thing. So, right here I have a pretty spread out setup, and I'll just show you how to make a more condensed one. So, what I like to do is just carve a little uh, trench here, and this time we're going to make a traditional AND gate. This is one that you probably have seen in other adventure maps and such. And then we're going to use my simplified version of an AND gate, too. So, basically all we got to do is just connect redstone to both of these AND gates, and like that. Take another torch. And now we're going to connect both of these torches to the bottom. This will work so that if either of these torches are illuminated, then it will activate, say, a piston. So let's put one right there. And then we can take a switch, plug one right there, and plug one right there, and we get the same result. Only this time it's a little more condensed, but we can make this even smaller. The only problem is, is that we get a little bit of latency because we use these repeaters here. And see, we get the same result here. And how this works is the repeaters do two things. It first prevents any redstone from merging with this... Ah, yeah, see, that's the problem we get. Uh, merging with that one and the string down there. And it also prevents another problem. See, this repeater is illuminated, and, but this repeater prevents this torch from going out. So, since the repeaters are there, you do get a tiny bit of latency, so it's not preferable if you're making a really complex contraption, but it is helpful if you have a very tight space. Now over here, if we want to make something larger, like I think it's called a four-way switch. I believe the three-way switch comes from that there's three positions. Either that both of them are on, one of them is off, or they're both off. Now I'm not sure if this setup over here is called a four-way switch because there's more than four combinations, but I'll call it a four-way switch nonetheless. Basically, we have two three-way switches combined. We've got one right here, which we have the two switches going to, and then the output of this one goes in the input of that one, and then this switch, of course, goes to the remaining output. So if we flip any of these switches, that will make the switch go up and down no matter which one we use. And then, of course, we can go even further and use three three-way switches to move the piston up and down. No matter which one we use, it will always go up and down. Now, another thing that we can use this for is to make a little puzzle. Say you're making an adventure map and you want people to try to get across this lava puzzle and they see all these switches here. Well, they flip one switch and it'll bring up two pistons. Well, they flip up another switch. Oh, it brought another piston down. Let's see, we flip this one up, and that same piston went up. So you see, these two switches are both moving that piston, and one can be up, and one can be down. And so what the player will have to do is figure out which switch controls which pistons. And this can become a challenge, but this is a pretty easy puzzle, because all you gotta really do is just do a bunch of trial and error before you get it, and you can finally make it across. Now the setup out here may seem pretty complex, but all it really is is just four three-way switches, one for each piston. So, for example, this switch right here, the redstone gets connected up here, and then it goes down where it splits off, one of them goes to one three-way switch, and then over here, it goes to another three-way switch. And that's how each switch is. Each of them goes to two three-way switch. And that's really all you need to make a little puzzle like this. 
Now this is pretty easy as it stands now, but what you can do is make four-way switches instead. That way each lever can go to three pistons. Then it gets a little more complicated and harder to solve. But yeah, I sure hope you guys found this video helpful. If you're into making adventure maps and such, I'm sure you did. I'm certainly going to be using it in mine. And if you guys want to be notified of when future videos like this come out, you can subscribe. And I also make a daily Minecraft series that might be worth checking out. Goodbye!